Today we are discussing the Cosmic Crisp Apple. I'm not sure how much you guys have seen of the hype behind this Cosmic Crisp Apple. It is perhaps one of the most prominently featured apples in terms of a marketing campaign behind it. In fact, the Cosmic Crisp even has its own Twitter account. So if you haven't seen it, there are a lot of claims and we will explore all of these claims on this channel and uh, really dive into it. First off, this is supposedly a very tasty apple. I don't know about you guys, but as apples that you can get in the supermarket go, for the longest time, Red Delicious really had a corner on the market and you could get Red Delicious and maybe a Granny Smith, maybe a Golden Delicious, and that was about it. And then, I don't know, maybe 10 to 15 years ago, you started seeing a few more type of apple varieties start popping up, Gala and Fuji and things like that. And then, I'm not sure the exact years, but Honeycrisp came on the scene. And Honeycrisp became kind of this universal favorite. And at least for me, I agree with it. I liked that element of the tart along with the sweet. And so, many people with whom I have spoken find Honeycrisp to be the supermarket variety that they most enjoy. The claim of this apple, which is supposedly a cross between the Honeycrisp and the Enterprise apple, is that this is supposedly at least as good, if not perhaps better than the Honeycrisp in terms of flavor. Another claim they had is that they have kind of a solid red apple and I would say in some instances I've seen red varieties of this apple, but a lot of them are like this one where they have some yellowing, yellow coloration and then the red on them as well. I would assume that this difference in coloration depends on how the sun hits the apple while it's on the tree. I would guess that this yellow back probably would be one that was blocked by a leaf and didn't perhaps have direct access to the sun and thus didn't turn the fully red. But indeed, I've seen some of the, the Cosmic Crisp that are fully red apples. They have a lot, a lot of different colors that are part of the Cosmic Crisp. The next claim is that when you slice open this apple, it will last for a, a really long time before going brown. Like you don't have to add lemon juice or anything, it just won't immediately brown. And we'll test this toward the end of this video. Then another claim is that this thing actually has an incredible shelf life. I've seen that in refrigeration, it can last for up to a year. So we're gonna take another apple, another Cosmic Crisp at the end of this video, and we're going to just kind of store it. And I'm actually gonna try without refrigeration. And I'm gonna set it somewhere in my house and then we'll just check back on it every couple of weeks and I probably won't post a video every time I check on it, but whenever it starts going, going squishy or if we make it through a whole year, I will post an update that kind of shows the progression of how the apple deteriorated over the course of that year, or if it holds strong for a whole year even outside of refrigeration, then hey, that'll be something we'll learn too. But we won't do that all in this particular video. This will just be the start of that that process. But for today, the next thing that we're going to test in addition to the, the browning, which we'll test at the end of the video, is uh, just, just generally the flavor and see, you know, is this thing as good as they're saying that it is? And, and does it hold up to the Honeycrisp? Does it hold up to other apples? Where does it fall in that pecking order? Could this actually be the miracle apple they're saying that has the best flavor as well as those other outstanding qualities. So without further ado, let's go ahead and cut right into this thing and we'll take a look at what we have. So 
So I'm pretty sure most apples look roughly the same on the inside and there's nothing too extraordinary here on the inside either. Uh, you've got at this point, it's not browning or anything, but there's a little bit of green mixed in with that coloration, which isn't abnormal for an apple. It looks kind of like a standard apple variety. It's not really a bright white inside, but um, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and make a note of the time, since one of the things we're checking is how long that thing takes to brown. And I have current time of 9.28 p.m. And this happens to be December 14th at 9.28 p.m. So we'll, we'll maybe watch this and see if we see a change in its coloration uh, versus what it is now. And we'll just use this, this half here that we've already cut and we'll just leave it sitting here and maybe I'll put up a, a time lapse on this. But we got distracted again. Let's go ahead and cut off a nice little slice here to eat. So wow, yeah, it is a very good apple. Um, I, it is not the same as the Honeycrisp. I would say it has a lot of similarity, and as I spoke before, I, I said the Honeycrisp was kind of in a league of its own in the commercially available market. I would say this this probably is up there. It's pretty good. I would definitely enjoy eating this apple. It. It seems to have a little bit more of a tartness to it, um, a little bit more of a kind of sour flavor than that, but it's still very sweet. And so, you know, there's almost a flavor similar to when you would drink apple cider to this, because it has that sweet kind of tart flavor to it. Let me take another bite of it just to see. So yeah, I mean, it really is a pretty good flavor. Um, yeah, I know some people don't really like more tart apples. And if that's the case, this one might not be exactly for you. Although somehow I think the flavor is such, it's not, it's not so exclusively tart, say as a, a Granny Smith is, even though I do actually like eating straight Granny Smiths too. But this has more of that sweet character. So it's, it's kind of more candy-like in that regard, although it definitely does still have a tartness to it. So I guess what I would say is, generally speaking, the claim is true. In my opinion, this is every bit as good as the, the Honeycrisp apple. Now, I know some of you who perhaps grow your own apples or anything might say, hey, the Honeycrisp doesn't have a corner on the market. Look at these wonderful you know, varieties of apples that we have, the, the Spitzenbergs, the Pippins, the uh, Wolf Rivers, the tons of different things that uh, are, are unique apple varieties out there that, that often get lost by those that only have supermarket varieties. And I understand that. I'm not going to necessarily claim this is for sure the best apple of all types you can have, but the, to the degree that you're a person who thinks that the Honeycrisp is a lot different than what you've had in terms of apples and is better than other apples. I think this cosmos, Cosmic Crisp Apple will also be something you enjoy. Now they just started shipping this apple on December 1st to stores throughout the United States at least. And it just then is, is getting into some of the stores. I actually found it oddly enough at Sam's Club, uh, which I, I was surprised that I could get it there. The pricing on it was $2.18 a pound, and it was sold in a four-pound bag. 
the Honeycrisps at the same time were a dollar eighty a pound, and also sold in a four dollar or a four pound bag. So that's a little bit of the price comparison. I think the price of this will possibly come down a little bit after it's not kind of like this new thing that people are trying. But um, yeah, and I don't know, is this already starting to brown a little bit right around in there? I'll have to look back at the video to see if that was already there. But if so, maybe that, that browning thing isn't quite as, uh, as true as has been suggested. But anyhow, we'll, we'll put that on time lapse here in a little bit and see for sure. Uh, why don't we go ahead? I just, for comparison's sake, do have a honey crisp here. You'll see the honey crisp also has the reds and yellows, but it doesn't have like that that side of it that is all red in the same way that the cosmic crisp had. It has the red and yellows kind of mixed the whole way through. So that's why I guess if you're wanting the all red, there are versions of the cosmic crisp that have it. So if that's the aesthetic you like, but Let's try this just to have a, you know, apples to apples <laughs> comparison between the, uh, the two varieties. All right, so here's our honey crisp, and then we'll take off another slice of this one. Okay. Cosmic Crisp Honey Crisp. Let's check the Honey Crisp bite. Hmm. So that's interesting. They are more different than I realized when when you actually have them right side by side. Let me try this just to confirm. Yeah, there really is. A, a pretty big difference between the two of them. And and that is just that this really does have a, a much stronger flavor. Both, I would say, almost tartar and sweeter um, flavor. It it just comes across a lot stronger than the Honeycrisp um, when they're actually side by side. Uh, so, I don't know, that's, that's interesting. The honey crisp actually might be worse. It's kind of a little bit more of a boring apple when they're side by side, but it might be kind of that the palate is confused too. It's already picked up so much of those flavors, and this is just weaker in comparison. But yeah, I would I would definitely say there is there's more of a burst. It really kind of gets you. It kind of makes you have a reaction when you have the cosmic crisp, which isn't that necessarily there when you have the honey crisp. With that being said. I do see how there could be a certain tendency toward burnout, I guess you might say, on the uh, the Cosmic Crisp. I think if you ate a whole bunch of them, you might kind of go, yeah, it's kind of like if you do eat a bunch of candy or whatever. So I don't know. Um, over time, I'm sure as a lot of people have more, we'll get more insight on you know the exact nuances between them. But... I, I definitely do say Cosmic Crisp is an interesting add-on to the market. Now, since this is a gardening channel, let's talk a little bit about the, the growing of these things. Uh, so, oddly enough, the state of Washington, I guess, is what has invested. The, the university out in, in Washington State um, has invested in making this Cosmic Crisp apple. And so... For the first 10 years after release, which December 1st was release date, for the next 10 years, apparently only Washington growers can uh, grow this apple. Now, I don't know if there's a, if this is strictly talking about commercial growers or growers generally. I think it, I think it might be growers generally. So if you have your home garden and you're wanting to get an apple, you might not have a legal means to have the Cosmic Crisp that you're growing for 10 more years. But anyone in the state of Washington, go ahead and start reaching out to your local nurseries. It's a new opportunity for you to be able to grow that. And so I guess this has been the update on the Cosmic Crisp. I'm now going to set up a just kind of test for us to see how 
um, it holds up in the browning. Now, just looking at it right now, I'm not not sure that it's going to last so long without browning because it already might be browning. But um, let's go ahead and put it side by side. Obviously, I opened this Honeycrisp a little bit later than I opened the Cosmic Crisp. But you'll see basically the real time difference between those in this video. And uh, so now we'll just set up a review of these two that will um, just sit here. Uh, and maybe I'll even leave it running all night long and we'll just see how they, they uh, last a, a, under a time lapse. So we ran this time lapse over the course of 12 hours. And as you can see, it does seem the Honeycrisp on the right is indeed browning faster. So I guess that claim is supported. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And if you've had the Honeycrisp, please let us know what you thought of it. Hope you subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on our next video.